Hey guys, welcome to the 180th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our capture generator. So, the first thing that we really need to do is just draw that text that we want to have the user type in. So, the first thing we need to do is just say G for our graphics dot draw string. And we're going to have to generate a random string because we don't want it to be the same string every time, or that wouldn't be secure at all. It would just defeat the purpose. So we're just going to want to go up here and create a character array, and then we're just going to generate a random string. So we're going to create a character array that will hold all the possible characters that can be in our string. So I'm just going to call this character and set it equal to um, all the letters of the alphabet. And then I'm also going to add numbers, and that should be pretty secure. And I think I typed in every uh, letter, and then I'm just going to do all the numbers. And then I'm just going to do two character array to convert that into a character array. Alright, and then I'm just going to create a string up here, and this will be the string that we're actually going to draw. And I'm just going to call it random string right here, set it equal to an empty string. And then I'm just going to create a for each statement. And basically what it's going to do is loop through and basically just find a random index of this character array and add it to this random string right here. So we're going to say for int i equals 0, i is less than 6, I guess we'll make it a 6 character um, string, and we're just going to increment i by 1 each time here. Alright, and then we're just going to um, basically create a new random number, and that random number will be the index of the character that we're going to add to our random string. So we're going to say random string plus equals characters and the index that we want it to be is just going to be random so we can say ran dot next oops dot next right here and the minimum will be zero and the maximum will be 35 since there's 36 characters inside of the character array all right so now we should have our random string right here now we're just going to want to draw that random string and we're also going to have to select font. So we're going to have to go up here and create a new font. So we're going to say font f equals a new font. And for our font, we're going to need to have a font family. So we're going to have to go up here and create a new font family. So font family ff font family equals a new font family. And the font that we're going to be using is just Arial. So I'm just going to say Arial. But you can honestly make it anything if you, that you want to make it like more uh, or harder for a bot to actually read it, read this image, you should probably make it um, a different font, but I'm just going to leave this Arial for right now. Alright, and then that font will be the font family, and then following that will be the size of the font. I'm just going to make it um, 14, that sounds like a good size. So it should fill, hmm, I don't know, some of this panel I guess. All right, now that we have our font created, we can just pass that through this draw string method. And with our brush, we're just going to be using that solid brush that we created, so B. And the point on our panel that we want it to be drawn on. And since the size is 222 by 128, um, I'm just going to make it 2020. Sounds like a good uh, location, so 2020. So that should have it be drawn, I don't know, approximately here and go across. All right, and now that we have um, our string created, let's just go ahead and test this out and make sure that it does draw a random string each time. But before it draws another random string, we're just going to want to clear that panel so we don't have multiple strings on top of each other. So we're just going to want to clear the uh, panel to its back color. So we're going to say panel one dot back color right here. And now it'll just empty out that panel of any drawings that we have in there. Alright, so let's just call this generate uh, captures, and we're just going to do zero. It doesn't really matter. It's going to do this code anyways. So let's just go ahead and make sure that this works right here. Just click start, and we should see, yep, random string right there. And it's just a random color as well. And we could actually probably move that down the page a little bit more. So if we were to just change the Y a little bit, so if we made the Y like 50 to make sure that this is a good spot, click start, and yep, that's a good spot. We can click start again, it should just be a random string each time with a random color. So now that we have a random string and a random color, 
we're just going to want to draw shapes basically around it and on top of it to make it harder for um, a computer program to read that image and convert it into text. But that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll get into doing that. So, see you guys.